it's been a bad week for dolphins, but a good one for sharks. It looks like China's Yangtze River dolphin has gone extinct. The Beiji has been suffering the ill effects of pollution, overfishing and habitat destruction for some time. Experts hope to save the species by relocating those remaining to a protected nature reserve. But after six weeks spent searching for the dolphin, they couldn't find a single animal. Meanwhile, the future for some shark species looks decidedly more rosy thanks to pop stars like Justin Timberlake. No, don't worry, not another benefit concert. Sharks in German aquariums had been a bit slow to mate lately, and since sharks process music in a similar way to humans, experts thought if they played sharks some funky tunes, it may help speed things up a bit. Lo and behold, cat sharks that were playing salt and pepper's push it produced oodles of eggs, while zebra sharks that were treated to Timberlake's rock your body were seen to, and I quote, caught each other heavily. Well, I guess it worked for Janet. It's countdowns a go go for NASA right now. Space Shuttle Endeavour just blasted off towards the International Space Station. And just a few days ago, NASA launched Phoenix on its way to Mars. In nine months' time, it should land on the planet's northern polar region. And provided everything goes OK, never a given on the red planet, rest in peace Beagle 2, Phoenix will analyse the soil and water ice and reveal whether life exists on Mars. Maybe not now, but maybe in the past. Or maybe not at all. At least not on this part of Mars. Then again, maybe life does exist, we just can't detect it. And if we do find life, we'll have to rule out we didn't actually bring the life with us. As you can see, Phoenix is going to make things a lot clearer. It's been reported that armed robots are patrolling the streets of Iraq. Three sword robots, special weapons, observation, remote reconnaissance, direct action system robots, have been deployed by the US Army. They're bomb disposal machines that have been modified to fire automatic weapons. Initially, they had a tendency to spin out of control, but that annoying glitch has since been fixed. Commanders hope they'll reduce the number of casualties. You won't find a sword robot at your local Toys R Us, but you might find one of these. It's the new ISOBOT. Its manufacturer claims it's the world's smallest humanoid robot. It dances, chops its arms, even does a somersault. And I have not that size is everything, but you may find the Promet robot slightly more impressive. It's being programmed to perform a graceful Japanese folk dance. Thanks to motion capture technology, it mimics human movements perfectly. Thanks a lot for watching this week's Stillwell Science News. See you next time. I can do anything. I can do anything. I